<laughs> Get the government on the phone. I think he's on it. No, I'm not. Anyway. I'm just interested. Well, don't be excited. Okay. You got me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, boy. Settle down. No. But I gotta tell you, we had the best time. We went up to Paul Saint Chavon. Is that how you say it? No, no. It's called Saint Paul du Vance. Oh, what did you say? You know, I said Paul Saint Chavon. And Paul Saint Chavon would be the wrong town. Of course. So you that's why I ask you. Saint Paul du Vance. Oh. And you had lunch probably at or dinner at Calum d'Or. Is that it? No, we had it at a farm with this bro. No, you didn't. You had it at <laughs> Column door, column door, which was lovely. Lunch with uh, yeah, Roger Moore's lovely wife, Mrs. Moore. I keep, I, uh, uh, I love her. She's lovely dull. Italian girl. Yes, oh, uh, and uh, she mm. was so great. She kept saying, Dan, darling, uh, uh, Roger should only be with us. We are having a marvelous time in Barbara Sinatra. Mm -hmm. And Dennis Stein, who was a marvelous, you know Dennis. Mm -mm. Well, Dennis uh, runs in front of Frank's car and checks for grenades. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Dennis Stein uh, was there, and uh, my wife kept saying, and Frank always talks to my wife. He's so charming to my wife. And Frank kept saying, Barbara, what do you think? Do you think we should go to the Hotel de Paris and have another drink? And Barbara said, last time, Frank, let's relax. Mm -hmm. That's the way I, I have that kind of wife. You know, you could say she could come out of a burning building and there wouldn't be a cinder on her. And she'd say, it was awfully hot in there. <laughs> cool, that, cool. that kind of, and that's the way the sex life goes, you know. And that was exciting. zippity doo dog. <laughs> It's my name. Yeah. Oh, so I was trying to tell you before, we came by, did I tell you, we came by this cabana, to Frank's cabana. Oh, Frank's was there, yeah. yeah and we yeah. had this driver, Dennis Stein and I, we all got in this car, yeah. and Frank's driver, Bruno, was not there that day. You know, when you Bruno. come out, we went to the tennis matches, it was for, uh, uh, what's those uh, gentlemen, I'll ask the audience, the, the, the jackets, you know, uh, uh, for, for men, members only, members only was the tennis tournament. Oh. At, uh, at Monaco at the time, members only. And they had the jackets and the, the, the bum and all the, everybody was there. You know, all the kids from Love Boat and mm. uh, Charlton Heston and John Forsythe, who was behind the ropes and we were sitting in the box, Frank and I, and John Forsythe kept leaning over, spitting up. I thought he had a rabies shot, you know. <laughs> man was dying to be with us, but I had no time, you know. <laughs> and uh, Frank said to me, who's behind us? There's a lot of big names. He said, well, wave to him. I said, Frank loves you! Loves you all you! And they were all sitting there, bleh, bleh, <laughs> spitting up, dying to be with us. Mm. And, uh, uh, and Frank was saying nice things about, you know, about the people, because the paparazzi drive him crazy, which you can understand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they didn't bother me, you know. They thought I worked for Frank. The and paparazzi, those are the photographers. No, 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 no. Paparazzi are Italian cooks that just hang around. Ah. <laughs> he really is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, the paparazzi is the Italian... Uh, uh, cameraman, and they would take a picture. You know, it really, they, he drives them crazy. He yeah. really does. Yeah. It. And, and they take a picture of you. One guy. One guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he caught me in the shower doing something. Well, I won't go into that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I had black socks on and a mask. Oh, I know. I've seen your. But uh, it was uh, it was it was just an exciting event. But now you got to go back to work to pay for all that. I mean, you're going back into the Sahara. Oh, I love going to Sahara. I go to resorts. I go to Lake Tahoe to Harris. I go to Reno. Right. And I at Harris, and I've been blessed. Uh, uh, when you home. think about by the Almighty, I oh. think you know when you when you think of all the comedians and all the talented people around today, to be a headliner in comedy with all the great singers, and I speak of singers, uh, which is another adventure. When we have time, I don't know if we will. I went for my first time to a to a concert, a rock concert, with my son Larry and my. You daughter, went Mindy. to a I, rock. I went. I never. In my life, I said, that, that don't make it for me. Where am I going with a rock concert? Did you like it? And, well, first of all, I had to get, even though you, if you're Merv Griffin, Bob Hope, Johnny Carson, you, you need 12 badges, three passes, one on your can, on your leg, you need a button here. Who was there? Boom, to go backstage just to enter the area with a rock star. The kid's name is Bruce Springsteen. Oh! <laughs> the king the of the world. Absolutely put me away. I went there with the attitude. We took a regular station wagon with the driver and I said, look, Barbara, you and the kids go in, Larry, Mindy, go in. Dad will come in for a little while. I'll go outside and I'll come back in about four hours and pick you up. And he started in. <laughs> and he went he da -bing, da -bing, da -bing. Yeah, right. Which, if you could do, you could make his kind of money. Uh -huh. uh, unfortunately, you don't do a ring, da ring, da ring, like no, no, no. he does. Mm -mm. You're gray, short, heavy set, and through. <laughs> I will be after this show. So, uh, I must say, Merv, it's a different world that you and I knew. You know, we grew up with the Glenn Millers, you know, and the what have you, and the Glenn Dorsey, Mill? and Glenn Miller, you remember. We sang with the band. My time. And Freddie Martin. <laughs> Don't forget him. Yeah. A box cassette by one, two, three, four. Anyway, so, uh, 
Oh, this guy knows him too. Yeah. I don't know who you are, fella, but you've been packed in ice a long time. <laughs> but uh, Bruce Springsteen for four hours, absolutely. You stayed the whole four hours. So help me. And, and I loved was, it. And absolutely loved it. Oh, you're coming into the 80s. Huh? And, well, I tell you, my kid now comes in my room and says, Hey, Dad, what's happening? He never used to talk to me. Yeah, and what do you say? <laughs> and I said, get out, get out. <laughs> Let me take a break. We'll come back. Don Rickles is certainly here. Stay tuned for some fun with home remedies. Remind all fans that he is at his uh, home ground, the stomping grounds, uh, the Sahara Hotel, where he is the best in that room, January 17th through the 20th, over the weekend. So if you're there, you've never seen anything like it in your life. With us right now, you, you always like uh, little features like this, uh, is a beauty expert. You you? Well, well, not for us. I'm not a Madonna. I'm no, certainly no, no. ready to look at But it. she has a new book here called International Beauties. International Beauty Secrets. Very interesting because you're becoming international. And she reveals unusual homemade remedies for problems like sore feet, wrinkles, and of course, baldness. <laughs> <laughs> Would you welcome Riquette Hofstein. Riquette. Come on, let's get you. How do you say it? Hofstein. Oh, it's Hofstein. I said Hofstein. Never mind. I'm part. This Never. is uh, Don Rickles. How do you do? Nice to meet you, nice Don. Nice to meet you. As a matter of fact, I have a special treat for Don today. You're kidding. Where, are you, I... where are you from? I am French. Ah. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Et maintenant, je vais parler en français. Formidable. Vous le parlez très, très bien. Complètement. <laughs> Madame. Would you wait in the truck? We'll be back a little later. Uh, no, no, he spends a lot of time in France. Yeah. They put his tongue up French in curlers too? over there. Pardon me? Do you speak French too? No. no? <laughs> and don't bother tipping her. <laughs> what do you have a surprise for? I have a special treat for Don if I can take him treat. with me. Oh, good. You, you put anything on my head, it'll fall apart. <laughs> Uh, would you like uh, to take a seat uh, here, here he comes. Uh, trick or treat you. Gets another shot at him. <laughs> uh, well? Uh, I, have, I have a little rinse on my hair, so if you do anything, I don't want it to, you know, become the high llama right in front of the audience. No, you no. don't color it or Can anything. Can we drink that? Uh, this is a glass of vodka for you, Don. Can you hold it is for me, Is this really please? vodka? Sure. Yes. May but, I have a sip to see? No, this is not for your tummy. This is for your scalp. Okay. Well, we I have a little taste to... No, not you. Oh, that was a good... <laughs> That was a good keynote. Mm. Okay, Lechaim. Lechaim. You're a mother... Jew from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> See, she had the cut. She had the cut. Lechaim. Now, we're going to take it, Ooh. and we have... We have another... <laughs> <laughs> we're going to mix it with this mixture, which is going to turn your little peach fuzz into hair in 12 weeks if you go steady with me. <laughs> if you what, do what? that, you're my new broad. <laughs> Are you married? No, I'm single. I've been <laughs> waiting for you all my life. <laughs> well, you're gonna wait a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, now, uh, what is that you mix the vodka with? Right in here I have vodka and I have an alka salsa for his upset skull oh. and I have an aspirin so his skull doesn't get a headache and toothpaste so we can Wait a minute, you have in there Alka-Seltzer, aspirin, and toothpaste? Oops, That's correct. Yeah. Well, sure, you, sure, $50, for, for $50 uh, for just a monogram, you don't care. Should I spit up after you drill? So we apply it. on this hair, she doesn't understand. I can turn white right on the air. And then you apply it right on the skull. You're gonna love it face down in Marseille. <laughs> 